when you're at a job site, you're going to get your wall measurements uh, from the uh, job site itself, and you're going to put them in KCD. But once you're done with that, you need to put your window and door locations on that particular wall. And all you have to do is just go to the wall you want to work on by clicking on it, single click, double click in the open space to change your view. And now we can actually, let's say, put a wall or a window on this wall. So over on the menu on the right, you'll notice that we have half wall, window, door. So we'll go to window, double click on it. It comes up a standard width. But what I want you to understand is that there's a couple of ways of locating things. When you have field measurements, you use locate from because when you come down here, you'll notice L to L basically just says left end of wall to left side of unit. So if you were taking your tape measure and you put it over on this wall and you measured over to the left side of that window, that's the radio button you'd want on. If you measured left to center, well, you just click on the L to C button and then tell it the location down here. L to R just means you measured from left end of wall to right side of that window. Maybe we measured right side of wall to right side of window because we couldn't get access to this wall. Someone was working on it. So I clicked R to R, right, right end of wall to right side of window. I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put 32 inches to put a number. Notice you have some choices of windows down here. You can come through and pick the one you want, casement double or triple. I'm going to click OK. Notice from the right to the right, it's 32 inches. That's what we told it. Now, if I wanted it to be 32 inches from the left side of the wall to the left side of that window, I just double click on the unit number itself. There's a little imaginary circle that you need to double click on in order to get that window to pop back up. It's on L to L for left end of wall to left side of unit. We'll go 32, click OK, and it's at 32. Now, once again, we're not going to tell you how to measure out in the job site. You pick which way you measured and you just tell it uh, what you got when you put up the window or the doorway. Now, notice there's a little C button over here. And this is just to center a unit on a wall. And if we brought this over a little bit, you'd see the little tool tip that pops up on that. And when I click on it, it does the calculating for us. We click OK. And in a perfect world, it would be 48. I could hold the mouse key down and just bump it a little. And that's probably what it's going to be. Now, when we start locating other items on the wall, such as doorways, things of that nature, you just click over on the other side. Let's say there's a doorway. Double click on this. OK, let's say we measured 12 inches from the end of that wall. We go 12, left end of wall to left side of that doorway. It's an interior open trim. We click OK. If that's not what we want, we just double click on it. Come down here and we'll pick a kitchen door handle right. Click OK. So just be aware you have a lot of different options. You could have worked from right to right. And when you start looking at these dimensions and measurements, make sure they match what you have out on the job site because this is going to pick up on any kind of measuring mistakes that you make out on the job site and stop you from creating spaces that don't exist or giving you too much space.